<laughs> so right there. Um, for anyone who wants to post events uh, to get out to the larger community, send it to the group list. If you're not on the group list, send it to me and make sure that I know to get you on the list so that you can uh, connect to the larger community. Uh, next up uh, to the mic is John Martinez. All right. After that guy's poem, I should take off my watch. <clears throat> <laughs> and I'll give you my mortgage, stop getting. All right, look. I am a poet, and Richard Blanco, do you know who Richard Blanco is? Richard Blanco is a poet who wrote, a Cuban poem, poet that wrote for the navigation, uh, navigation of. Um, he wrote this real lofty poem, it was so beautiful. Birds were flying in my head. So everybody said, it's right one, right, on Facebook. And we all wrote one. I was wrote one. I wrote one. And this is it. I borrowed these glasses. So thank you very much. Okay. And it's There is a deep hypocrisy about democracy, and freedom is a word for some. <coughs> Flowers are buried in the rubble while we put on our morning sunglasses and some jazz on our Bluetooth stereos. For every charge of electricity, a net of stars on our globe. Every gas pump steel movement, every coal burned, there is a child crying in the rubble, a mother with eyes so far away that we have to look into the horizon to imagine a glimpse of her. Because she is pressed like chewed gum into fields of poppies, flesh pushed into the earth by the dead passion of drones smashed into the fat whale valleys of oil ships. She has our lips, our eyes. She has our hands. In an open oratory dream before the masses, a lightning bolt of me and my words, before the digital smiles and hip-hop moguls, before the entire world, but she is not invited. Her stench will smudge the punch bowl jokes of the after party with all the hypocrisies of our time. I value the living. I do not kill. I am an American raised on the history of oppression and racism. My father said, yes, sir, until his lips were sealed into permanent submission. My mother knew symbols of a blue-eyed god promising that her suffering would end with a powder puff cloud under the hanging Tijuana rug, a clown-faced Kennedy, Martin Luther King, Eisenhower, where she could dream forever because her love was, of course, infinite. I am in love with America. I walk in the shoes it gave, made by a whipped and depleted child, Indonesia, Pakistan, Mexico, the green thumb of the Philippines. I stumble across the keyboard, never wanting to be angry, but I am angry because I am an American. I was born to be angry. I am the American who sees a light traveling across the hills of Juarez, like the light of my grandmother's iris, always watching me, e even as I bone up to my 50 years. I see the light passing over the tin can buildings where my people slaved to build me this circuit board fantasy, the green pill skin of the nasty dollar. I see this light in the crevices of buildings in South Central where a white social worker gets an award for hugging a starving black child. I see America with its pathetic sympathy. I am American. I feed and drink in the bars of hyenas, laughing away the night's liberties. I jaw grind the happy faces of Fox television. And once and once and once and for all, I would like my leader and come and say to say, 
Well, he said what he was supposed to say. Let us gather our humanness, our skin we bumped up to one another. Let us rise in the city called the bustle. Let us stand against the oppressor who exchanges fear and death for products. Let us swim in hordes like a rising wave and stop every ship stamped with the decal of death. Let us rise against the steel, the buzzing electrical madness, and let us use words to tell the truth. Yes, let those who will the truth live, not just in statues erected for their bravery. To be human is not to be brave, it's to be human. And when we are human in its most concentrated form, let us not be used as a political tool. Let's do away with the word freedom and then change it, exchange it for love. Because if you truly love somebody, you won't kill them. Let us use our mighty solidarity to rise up against everything that hurts the world, even if it's ourselves. Let us rise up against ourselves. We have to save that child. We have to take her hand brush the gravel from her hair. We have to hold her like she was our own because she is, she is our own. And what she represents is the very 